Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how I model this cosmetic product. We will create environment, texturing, and lining setup. Okay, let's start it. First, open up your blender. Press A to select everything. Press X to delete. Get to the front view. Press Shift A, mess, add cylinder. Press GZ, move your cylinder up here. Cut to the edit mode. I'll see to see the X right view. Select all of this edge. Press GZ, move it up here. Just like this. Press I to insert, insert like this, get to the front view, press G to extrude, extrude on the Z axis just like this. Press I again to insert, insert like this. Press Alt D, extrude face along normal, extrude it inside like this, get to the front view, G Z, move it up here a little bit. Press E to extrude, just to scale it, just like this, press E again to extrude. Extrude on the Z axis, just like this, and select this edge, and select this edge, Control B, bevel it, just like this, select this edge, and this edge, Control B, bevel it, just like this, press 2 on your keyboard to change it to the edge mode. And select everything, put it select, select sharp edge, control B, bevel it, just a little bit, like this. Okay. We're gonna create just simple dropper bottle. Next, let's shift A, add another cylinder, GZ, move your cylinder up here, tap to the edit mode, S to scale it, press shift Z to scale it without the Z axis. Just like this, I'll see to see the X-ray view, select this edge, press GZ, move it down here like this, and the bottom over here, GZ, move it up a little bit, select this edge, and this edge, just control B, just bevel it a little bit, like this, ok, tap to the object mode again, press Shift A, add another cylinder, press GZ, move it up here, as the scale it, just scale it like this, GZ, move it down here, yep, just like this, press Ctrl I, apply the scale, tap to the mode, Alt Z to the X-ray view, select this edge, it's GZ, move it up here, and Ctrl B, just bevel it like this, Inflate the segment, just like this, and press Ctrl R, to add a new loop cut over here, select this edge, press S to scale it, just like this, select this edge, control B, bevel it. Okay, just like this, press A to select everything, press control 2 to add a subdivision modifier, right click, shade smooth. Next, press shift A, add a circle, press GZ, move your silver up here, tap to the edit mode, Alt Z to see the X-ray view, S to scale your silver, scale it like this, press E. To extrude Z, extrude on the Z axis like this, way down over here, and press E again, extrude on the Z axis again, just like this. Press Ctrl R, add a new loop cut over here, press S to scale, just like this, and select this edge again, press E, Z, move it down here, S to scale, just like this, and select this edge. Select this edge and this edge. Just control D, bevel it. Just like this. Tap to the object mode. Select this object. Tap to the edit mode. Press 3 on your keyboard to change it to the face mode. Press Alt on your keyboard and just select this face. It will select all of this face around here. Shift D to duplicate it. Press P, selection. Tap to the object mode. And we will name this one Level. And this one, bottle. And over here, just name it cup. This one, gripper. And the last one, right click, shade smooth. Just name it gripper. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do? Press Shift A, add an empty line axis. Press S to scale it. Select it like this and select this bottle and the label. 
select your entity, press Ctrl T, object keep transform, and press Shift A again, add the entity, add a circle, press RX 90 degree, press GZ, move your circle up here, and the scale it just like this, select this object, this object, and this one, and select your entity at last over here, Sir, empty circle, press Ctrl T, object keep transform, and select over here, the empty, and empty over here, Control P, object keep transform. If we move this empty, it will move out of the bottle part, but if we move this empty, only the dripper will move. Just like that. Next to do is, let's add an environment. First, we're gonna change this to EV to cycle. I'm only using CPU, but if you have a graphic card, just use a GPU. The next sample, I'm only using 50. Color management, I'm using filmic and high contrast. We need another window over here. At the front view, shift A, add a camera. Get to the right view, move your camera back here. And change the resolution over here at the output property. I'm gonna change it like 1440 and 1920. At this window, change it to a view camera. Just like this. And move over here. At the viewport setting. Turn off the scene light, scene work, and turn off this one and this one, and press T. Okay, we need to add an environment. Let's download the environment. We don't need to create everything. Just go to the quicksell.com. You need to log in first. You can download the free 3D asset over here. There's a lot of 3D asset. What we are going to use is this one, this one, and this one. I will gonna leave the link download in the description below. After you download it, just extract the folder and back to our blender. Go to the file, import, fbx. Let's find the ground first. Yeah, this one maybe. Let's move. It. Maybe like this and move this one up. Yeah, maybe just like this. We need to add a material for this ground. You need to do go to the edit preference, add ons, and install the not wrangle add-ons after you install it just click on your principal bstf press shift ctrl t and found your texture for the rock this is it and we only gonna need one of these this one and maybe displacement the first maybe and the normal and the roundness that's it and click over here so we got the texture. Let's adjust it a little bit. Yep, something like here. And what else we need to do? Let's add another environment. Let's go to the file. Import FBX. Let's add the fur. Let's just use variant one as the scale. Like this, maybe we'll put it back here. And let's add the material, just name it fur and select this principal BSTF. Press Shift Ctrl T and go to the fur folder, the texture, it shall be the Atlas, and just press A to select everything. That's it. You need to put it at the background. So I'm not over here. And shift D to get it. We need to rotate it. And let's add another 
import fpx maybe let's gonna change the variant maybe variant 3 just the skillet let's see how it's look and for the material just use the fern just put it anywhere you like maybe over here let's add a flower import fbx let's gonna use the foreign one as to scale it put it over here maybe yep just over here and for the texturing at your principal usdf just name it flower press shift ctrl t go to the flower folder texture atlas press a to select everything just like this doesn't look good let's change the resolution start to rotate it gz just move it like this okay Get to the file import again fbx and the flower let's use the rm9 gz move it up here as the scale and for the texturing just use the flower Yeah, I guess something like this and put the mesh at a plan at x 90 degree press G Y move it over here as the scale. Let's add a texture over here for the bottle new material just turn down the roughness make it 0 0.001 and transmission just make it full transmission and let's change the color maybe a little bit brown like this and over here new material just make it black and roundness turn it down just like this for this one new material let's increase the metallic full metallic and turn down the roundness like this and for the level new material we need to go to the back view press slash on your keyboard and select this edge press u mark sim u unwrap press slash again and press over here, press Ctrl T, image sector, open, just find your label. Yeah, just like this. Press Ctrl S to save your project. And let's let's set up the line. Here, turn on the line in scene and scene work. Press Shift A, light, area light, and X to rotate it 90 degree. Go to the top view, press G Y. Move it somewhere. Move it over here and change your pivot point to the 3D cursor. Add to rotate it. Increase the power, maybe like something like this. It's too bright. Add to rotate it.
it may be something like this and we need a point move it back here and increase the power maybe just 50 and the radius it's to break Let's hide this first. Fifteen is too bright. Let's use ten. The power source is depending on your object scale. Maybe like this and yep, just like this. Let's bring back the area light. Just 50. Let's change this one to white. Let's hide this one first. So, and over here, the strength, change it to zero. So we can focus. somewhere over here and simply duplicate it again Better to rotate it just like over here and this one and yeah, something like this and the camera we need a blurry just go to the camera that object property tip of field check this tip of field and put your eye drop to the level let's see at the viewport setting and change this from the scene light and scene work. So we can see how much blur we need. Something like this, I guess. And for the backdrop over here, let's give him a color. Just make it black. Okay, control S to save your project. Let's render it. And that's it. Thank you for watching.